Good afternoon. This is Bob Iacchino along with Mike Arnold. It is June 9th. We are of Path Trading Partners, and this is a weekend path chat covering the individual stocks that we've been looking at for quite some time. Uh, Mike is going to go over some of the pattern changes that have happened and the stocks that we've shot out ideas on. And before I turn it over to Mike, if you're interested in the preview of this coming week and the review of last trading week, check out about the first 16 and a half minutes of the Futures Weekend Update Path Chat where I cover all of that in depth, what's, what happened last week and what we're looking for uh, of importance for this week, including Janet Yellen's testimony. But other than that, let me just go ahead and turn it over to Mike so he can get to the charts. Mike, it's all yours. Thank you, Bob. So let's check in on some of these longer term doubles we've been check watching and also the FANG stocks, which we've covered in our podcast. So we'll update some of those key stocks. FNSR weekly basis still triggered multiple weeks ago. Stop reduction still trading right below the entry price. Nothing to do there. No profit taking and no stop out yet. NRG. Entry price up here is still trading below the entry price, but nowhere close to the stops, so nothing to do there. FCX still basing at this key area, nothing yet to do there. These can, things can take a long time to play out. FNB trading below the entry still, didn't get down to the profit targets, just trading slightly above the weekly rotation zone right now, nothing to do there. Qualcomm still a potentially valid setup. Uh, if it does drop below this 5404 level, it is no longer a valid setup. So we'll be watching for that, but it is still a potential double bottom that has not triggered for us yet. It could have triggered for some people. We want a close above this peak, which we did not get. So no trigger there. We also talked about that on our podcast. Here we have some of the FANG stocks. Google came down straight to the weekly rotation zone and moved back up. This also triggered the double last week. This was a lower probability double since it is going against the rotation zone. And we highlighted some key areas that if you're looking to accumulate Google lower, uh, you could watch for the 878, the 868, 42 areas. Those are also targets for the short, but nothing else to do here. That's what the key areas we'll be watching for on Google. Facebook, Facebook is one of the stronger ones. You can see didn't even get down to the bottom of the weekly rotation zone, dipped in here below the eight, couldn't even get down to the 25% GAN level and rallied back up. This is the key areas we'll be watching for. If it really gets up below about this 145, it could be the run up in Facebook is over, but we'll update that if it does happen. If not, if this level holds, especially if we get above this week's high coming at about 152.18. You can see a push potentially up to about the 153.68, then the 155 area. Apple, Apple holding at the bottom of its weekly rotation zone. This is going to be very key. It's about 142 area. If we do get through there, we could see or easily return to 140. Once we get below 140, then we we'll be watching for a return to one about 133 if that does happen but apple is not looking so strong in order to really see that its bottom is in it has to get back above this 147 to 147.50 area before we'll be anywhere even moderately bullish on it amazon again holding up strongest just like facebook dipping not even it did dip in the rotation zone, but didn't get anywhere down to the bottom of it. Couldn't get near its 25% retracement level, bouncing back up. If we do get through the 979 area, then we could see a run back up in the short term to the 1,000 area. So that's what we'll be watching for. Critical line in the sand for Amazon right now is about 930, and that's going to slowly edge up somewhere between the 930 and 940 level over the next uh, couple weeks. Netflix came down, dipped below the rotation zone and the 25% level and bounced back up. This is going to be a very key level, very key support for Netflix coming in about this 139 to 140 area. If we do get below that, then we could easily see a return to the 50-week 
moving average and this 136 area, then if that's broken, we'll be watching for a longer term retracement back down to the 125 area. In order for us to get bullish on Netflix, it really has to get above this 160 area again. So nothing we're looking to do on that. NVIDIA acting again pretty strong just got to the bottom of the or just got to the upper end of the rising rotation zone and the 37 half percent retracement level really watching it for to get back above the 150 level to see strength coming in again so that's what we'll be watching for also if we do get below about this 138.50 level we could easily see a quick return to the 132 area tesla Massive drop was over, down at one point over 20% over the last two weeks from its highs, holding at our trend line and the bottom of the rotation zone. So this is pretty key. If we get below this 302 to 300 area, you could see a pretty quick return to the prior breakout zone of about 283 to the 273 area. So watch if we get below that $300 mark, you could see a quick return down to this area. Nothing we'd be doing in uh, Tesla from the long side right now. It would have to show some really strong price action to have us interested in that. And also we talked about that extensively on the podcast with even Goldman Sachs cutting their price target. I think it was down to 180. So nothing we're looking for right now. FireEye, this was a potential double top, turned into a triple top, and still into a channel. Looks like some of the data is slightly off there to help it get corrected. There we go. So until this gets back up here, you could play. It's a potential long. It's a riskier long. But if, if you saw some intraday strength in FireEye, you could look for a possible return to the $16 mark. Now, this did define the bottom of this horizontal channel with the rising 50-day exponential. So if we do get a extended move intraday or a close below 1464, we'll be watching for first level support coming in about 1378. And we could actually return with the horizontal channel targets. They're lining up pretty much with this flat 200. So you could easily see a return to 1312 area. So that's all we're watching for in FireEye. Finally, Shake Shack, very narrow range. Might have put in a short-term bottom right about the 50% mark for this channel, horizontal channel we're watching for. So this is still an early entry for a possible breakout. If here the stops are way down in this area, you know, below this 29, uh, 29, 50, 29 area. So we'll be watching forward to see if it can get back up above this trend line that we'd be then watching for a return to the defining point right around this 3930 area. That's all we have for you on this weekly stock update. Back to you, Bob. Thanks for that, Michael. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the Money Path podcast. You can type that into Google Play or the iTunes store. Or check it out at pathtradingpartners.com. And please don't forget to hit like and subscribe on these videos if you like what we're doing. Also, check out our cryptocurrency updates and the educational series where we talk about some patterns that we trade, not only in the cryptocurrencies, but in the traditional markets. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. We will talk to you in the next Path Chat.